Fuck. Yeah, like, you know what? And Aquarius is next, so I don't oh, know. man. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. And then after that, I, I know for sure we have Leo, and I think we have... Leo and... Aries? Yep, the two... The, the strongest fire <laughs> signs are, are last. Oh, gosh. I hope Aquarius isn't just ice cold, but they're probably going to be. I don't know. We're about to find out. We're going to give them the black and gold deck. Change it up here. Man, I, I tried to, the secret mystery. Remember I even said right at the beginning of that Gemini reading, I was like, you know, we're going to try and reveal the secret mysteries of why. And I don't even know if we came into it. I, and I'm willing to accept it. I have no problem with it. Like I, I said, hey, if that's where you're at, that's where you're at. If that's what it says, it just says. I, you know, not my place to tell you how to be. You know, sometimes we got to go into a cold place to realize how warm we actually want it. So, you know, time to turn yeah, the I heater on. I think the worst is when we like, we like become in our egos, which we don't think is our ego. Like we're doing the best for ourselves. I don't want to be in this and I don't want to do this. And, da, da. and then we just keep just like creating like walls and walls and like the story and the story and like pushing ourselves away from everything to be like, you know, vindicated and show like some sort of, and then really it's just like, you're just all alone and nothing's there. And you're just like, I'm fi you're fighting for this moment of just looking out of a window and thinking that you're in peace when peace is with people and serenity is with love, not the idea that they try and show you in fucking spiritual like ads with you out in nature doing fucking yoga on a fucking rock. Like, <laughs> trust me, you want to go and have a good time too in life. All right, Aquarius. Hopefully, you know what? You're the air sign that does show the other air signs right now how to be when it comes to love. They had a great, they had a great reading last week, so let's see if they can build off that. We'll see. We'll see. What do we got? Well, we, get, we got a Nine of Wands reversed here. Emperor reversed. Five of Swords reversed. Three of Cups. Not bad. I think definitely feel like you're putting your walls down this week. But I feel like it's a vulnerable place that that emperor reversed as the challenge. I almost feel like you feel like you're going to fail. Like maybe being vulnerable. Because that's the, you know, defensive. Being defensive. But it's reversed, so I feel like your defenses are down. But that emperor is one that always gets glory and victory through getting there, and that's a challenge. Feel like maybe you can't get the victory you want, but like there's a lot to cheer up for about. But then also, this Five of Swords is like kind of a give up card when reversed. I mean, you can't go rescue people. Well, I think you're taking your defenses down because you have all these prizes you want. But again, it's an empty person looking at the prizes. They haven't chose the prize, so you're like, I think revealing that you're have options that you want to have. I think that you definitely have a lot of options that you're looking at. Knight of Wands reversed. It's like leaping, but not taking the full leap. What's up with that three of cups? Five of, oh man. I don't think that this is bad. I just think that, you know, there's a lot of confliction, especially about like, you got a lot of options or you're, you're playing with just a lot of options of what you want to do with your life. I think that you're not really ready to go crazy after it. Knight of Swords goes crazy after it and Five of Swords does and they're both reversed. So it's almost like, yeah, if the fire happens, the fire happens, whatever. I don't know. Maybe the air signs are just going through a lot of like, I don't really care right now. Like what happens, happens and just... But there's a page of cups there. I definitely feel like, you know, there's definitely more positive communication. Or I think communication of what your feelings are very important. But coming from a fun place, you had a queen of pentacles here too. So I think that you definitely are in a, in a, you have a lot of dreams and you definitely want to make them possible. I think that you're having issues on like how much you do, how hard you push. May, I think that you're in an uncomfortable position of like having to feel like you're going to have to like push something more and like it's, it's, it's like conflicting within you or it might create conflict, but don't worry about that so much. 
Like, go for the joys of your life, you know what I mean? Like, look at it that way and enjoy the ride. It's, it's love. Like, enjoy the ride of going for it. So I, I think that this is just more of like a fear of how to come across or how much to go for. But I think if you don't show you trying to go for something really hard, well, then, then there's not much to cheer about, you know? I, I think that the, the more that we see people go for things or hit a home run in life or whatever, the more we cheer. The more that if you walk, uh, nobody cheers when somebody gets walked unless it's the fucking ninth inning and there's a man on first and second and now you loaded the bases. Like that's the only time we're excited for it or that you get walked and there is bases loaded and you score a run by walking in, but you, you, that's not a standing ovation for you because you're on third base and walking from somebody else walking. It's more like looking at the picture right, that, that fucked up. So I, I <laughs> this is kind of maybe a grain shows up. I don't know. Nope, you're stewing on things without using any utensils. You're stewing on a lot. But I don't think you know how to act or what to do. So you're just kind of like, let me, I put stuff in the pot. I'm spiritually stewing on it. I'm not sure where it's going to go. I don't know if I'm really going to try that hard. I'll keep it light and easy. You're ready for a big change though in your life. That's good. But also it's a very, in this deck, this card says it's like extreme emotional change. So I think that you can't hide the emotional change. That might be the conflict here, like wanting change and wanting to go for it and the challenge and, and feeling maybe like you're too afraid to bring out the crazy fucking little girl out of the horror movie or the man, whoever, you know what I mean? Like could be definitely some emotional frustration here about whatever's going on. Oh, I'm already picking that shit. Temple of my body, but that was the wrong one, but. Mm. New life. Mm. Well, if you're trying to get out of a situation, this is definitely the time. And then if you're trying to get into a situation, this is definitely like this feeling like this new life that's possible and the changes that you're ready to have. Whatever that might be for you, there's definitely this excitement of, but I don't even know if it's really that exciting. I think that you're just finally like open for things to change you're too afraid to call for help the reach out the need to for backup admit what your needs are and the shadow is is that at the temple of your body you might feel like you're not good enough for those things you might not feel like that you that you look weird see how she's looking at her weird hand she's like she knows she's beautiful but she's like but look at my hands it's like well she could definitely do a lot with those hands still <laughs> you know oh man I don't feel like it's bad. I just feel like, you know, this is kind of like this moment for you where you're ready for the great change and you're ready for new life. And it's a frustrating thing that you're stewing on things and you don't want to try to come across too intense and you don't want to, but you don't want to not come across. And so it brings you to an extremely frustrating place. Not bad, but don't be, I don't think, I think it's about not being afraid. Yeah. Personal transformation. I think that you're ready for the biggest personal transformation of your life, actually about your love life. So I'm looking at this as really good. I feel like you've kind of reached a place where you're like ready to admit what your needs are and not feel weird about that. Like, it's okay. It's okay to ask what you want. It's okay to not demand, but it's okay to transform your life and to get to what you want and to go for what you want and to go where you want to go. So it's, it, it, it's, it's kind of a good moment and an exciting moment. I just think it's kind of the odd thing for you because I think that you always kind of don't ask for enough or you don't put out there enough what you want, right? It's kind of like, Hey, Singles out there, three of pentacles reversed, nine of wands reversed, nine of swords. I, I feel like you are afraid to build things because maybe you're trying to leap towards something that you feel like something's going to go wrong. Six of, of, of cups reversed, something maybe about, you know, I think the lesson here is, is singles. Like, there is no full safe place yet. Like that has to be built, you know, and like this is about learning to build things and taking things as they are, but I, I mean, you did get a good card here, kind of. I, I think that you're waking up realizing, you know, it's time for you to build things in your life, and that might be scared. I mean, I think you might be scared of 
deeper commitments, but you're not scared to face them. I think that it's more just like, I'm ready to do it, but this will be fucking weird. Relationships, seven of pentacles reversed, ten of pentacles, death card reversed, hangman reversed. I think that you're in a really weird place, Aquarius, if you're in a relationship. I think that you're in a, I don't want to let it go, but I want to get the fuck out. <laughs> but... Uh, there, there's some sort of structure here, but I almost feel like I've invested so much and I don't know if it's returning the investment. So you're in a very weird, you're ready to change and it, 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 you're ready to get the fuck out while at the same time you're too afraid of the ending of something, especially if it's home related or if it's money and abundance related or if it's not feeling like the, or the, the, the foundation's there anymore that's worth it. Sex life, star card, well, th we got the naked. Definitely, I think that wherever that you can feel like you're kind of in this fresh place of renewing your personal transformational kind of new life and these new emotional changes is a good place for you to be if, if that sexual energy is there. And may maybe you need to just like try something different, do it outside under the stars or this is, I think, you renewing your whole understanding of your sexual energy and how to use it differently, which is actually a powerful thing. Interesting. So, actually, I know I know, I might not sound like it, but actually, like, after reviewing this, it's just like, I just think there's just, like, minor fears of how powerful you come across for the needs that you want and the things that you want and the new life and the new way that you want to go about things and to... Not be so afraid of that, that actually that the personal transformation is finally here. It's a big moment for you and to not feel like that you can't have that or that you can't ask for what you need in life or you can't ask, you know, for what you want. Or maybe you want to make a reach out to somebody or, you know, like you're afraid to like, this is about not being afraid of, of what you really need in your life and what you really want and not being afraid to ask for it, not being afraid of what's going to happen. So that's exciting because I feel like this is a big change for you. And, and this is definitely, I think, making people see who you are even more. So I, I, I'm not seeing it as a bad thing. Speak your truth. I mean, I, that's exactly what I was saying. Closure, new love, stuck. Well, I think that you feel stuck between, is this closure? Is this new love? You got to speak your truth to figure that out. So... There's definitely like, I need to, I'm stuck and I need to speak. And are we closing this or is this going to go somewhere new? What is this? That's definitely the energy that I'm popping up with here. And that, that definitely is a personal transformation and also expressing your emotions and, and, and asking what you want. You got Pluto and you got it in Gemini and you got it in the sex house. Oh man. This is definitely changing your whole environment, learning to speak the reality that you want, not be afraid of that. The villain that you are being right now this week, Aquarius. What is the villain that you are being this week here? Oh, this came flying out. Eight of Wands reverse. No, you know, love. I can't get struck by love. Or love's not going the direction fully I want. Stop doing that. Back to you. All right, Aquarius. It wasn't, wasn't a typical air sign reading of the night, so that's, that's good. That wasn't bad. I mean, that it wasn't, wasn't bad. bad. That was actually a good, solid It like, didn't reading. leave me feeling the way Libra and Gemini did, so that's good. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, for you, it, there's a lot of identification work right now. Big decisions you have to make for yourself, especially if that's regarding love or romance. I mean, you got to kind of define your direction in a big way right now and make sure that at least you're around energy you feel comfortable in. I think that's very important with the North Node in your fourth house. Like, do you feel like you can emotionally go forward in life with the partner you're with? Or if you're not getting that... Can you start something with someone you can kind of build a foundation with? So I think a lot of it's getting into that foundation work. A lot of it is your self-worth with the Pisces second house and with Venus coming in there too. A lot of this has to do with money. Do you feel like you're worth the best things in life right now? And if not, why? This is where you can transform your, your life into 
really creating all the abundance that you want. But you have to know that within yourself and you have to define a path that's going to bring that in. And I think speaking is very important right now with the Aries energy, the sun and Mercury in your third house. Yeah, Chiron's there, but like, don't feel like your words don't hold weight or like you can't make changes in your environment to get better. This is where you, you really can and you just have to be willing to make pivots in life to have a better foundation, to have better emotional connection with people. And that starts with yourself first. So I think this is really seeing into yourself to realize that you can have really, really nice things in life and especially with people. But you got to be willing also to, to not isolate. Like, yes, you have to do the work kind of on your own, but you also have to let the connection in and like let the emotion out. So being ice cold with emotion isn't going to get you very far right now. You have to speak and kind of attract in what you want emotionally. That's, that's what I got for you. Yeah, I mean, and we always say isolate with Aquarius, but it's the opposite of Leo, which is expression. It's just like lack of expression, maybe expression in weird ways, but like of the heart and its own heart wanting ways, right? Like sometimes Aquarius is the energy that represents, I'm going to express myself differently. And that's where I find my expression, but coming into places where it wants to express itself as its full self, not just the odd or the unique self that it attaches to, that's different. So it's like not being afraid of expressing all parts of yourself instead of the cool, unique part of what makes you different. Mm. Is it Aries or Leo? Who do you think it's going to be on these last two? Leo. I always get these wrong. 